Hi guys, Korean movie recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a Thailand horror movie released in 2019, called Inhuman Kiss. This movie tells the story of a teenage girl who often sees her bed covered in blood. It turns out that the woman is a spooky ghost that often haunts her village. Luckily, there was a boy who was always by her side to help her. So, what will happen to her next? Let's find out. The story begins by showing four children playing hide-and-seek near an old house containing a chest. Sai and one of her friends accidentally enter the old house to hide. Inside the house, Sai saw a chest and behind her appeared Krasu. Krasu is a ghost in the form of a human head with the contents of the body attached without skin and can fly. Krasu is one of the scariest ghosts in Thailand. The scene shifts, where those who used to be children are now adults. Every day Sai always cleans the blood that always appears on her bed. Sai works as a nurse at a clinic in her village. Jerd, who is her childhood friend, now loves Sai very much. But not the other way around, Sai only thinks of Jerd as a friend. Jerd always acts silly to get Sai's attention. Suddenly a pediatric patient came with a wound in the leg. The mother recounted that last night she saw Krasu and ate her neighbor's chicken. The mother told them to close the doors and windows tightly. The next morning, she saw that there were bloodstains in her bed again. Not only that, she also noticed that her chest was starting to turn red. As usual, Jerd always came and brought pandan water for Sai. After a while, Sai asked Jerd to accompany him to the forest at night. In the evening, they finally went to the forest. Soon, they saw a ray of light that turned out to be their old friend, Noi, who had just returned from Bangkok. Sai who saw Noi was very happy when they met and they immediately hugged. Jerd who saw it immediately felt very jealous. Noi is not alone, he brings a group of Krasu hunters led by someone named Tad. The group sensed there was Krasu in this area. So that's what brought them here to catch it. If it wasn't caught soon, it would be a disaster. Disaster will come if Krasu vomits water and there is a girl who drinks the water, then the girl will turn into Krasu. It is different if a man drinks it, then the man will be tortured to death. On the other hand, Sai wanted to hurry home. Because she felt something strange in her body. Jerd felt a little suspicious of Sai's hasty behavior. The next day, again Sai saw her bed covered in blood. Not only that, she also vomited blood and red spots appeared on his chest. In the afternoon, people saw a dead buffalo. But Noi said that the buffalo died because of wild animals. Then Noi took Sai to meet Jerd. Arriving there, it turns out that Jerd is practicing shooting with the Krasu hunters. Noi asks Jerd to leave as he is worried about him. But Jerd insisted on his stance because he believed that Krasu had appeared in his village and wanted to protect their village. One night, Jerd told Sai to close the doors and windows tightly, so Krasu couldn't enter. Jerd is with hunters around the village to hunt down Krasu. On the other hand, Sai starts screaming in pain and it turns out that Sai has become Krasu. But how? Let's watch till the end. Elsewhere, a mother sees her baby not in bed, and immediately wakes her husband. Immediately, they ask the Krasu hunting group for help. It turned out that their baby was brought by Krasu who was none other than Sai herself. Suddenly, the Krasu disappeared in an instant. Then, one of them appeared and brought the baby back. On the other hand, Noi who was in the rice field saw Krasu heading towards Sai's house. In a hurry, Noi went up the stairs to check on Sai's condition. Noi was very surprised when he saw that Sai turned out to be Krasu. When Sai had returned to being human, she saw Noi peeking out of the window. Noi fell down the stairs because he didn't think Sai was Krasu who always ate farm produce in the village. The next day, Sai returned to the clinic, but she did not find Noi. Maybe Noi left because of the shock of yesterday's incident. Sure enough, it turned out that Noi was at a temple asking the monk for help. The monk explained that Krasu didn't hurt humans. Krasu was created from black magic which made them into scary ghosts. When Noi came home, it turned out that Noi was looking for chickens to give to Sai. In the evening, Sai returns to Krasu as before. And Noi gave her the chicken to keep Sai from leaving the room. 
In the morning, Sai is overjoyed to see Noi at the clinic. She immediately hugged Noi because she was very worried about what happened yesterday. The two of them then went somewhere to cool off. Noi told Sai to act like a normal person so they wouldn't be suspected by the villagers. Every night, Noi always gives her chicken so that Sai doesn't come out of her room. Until one day, Noi gets information about a plant that can stop Sai's transformation into Krasu, even though the change is only temporary. In the morning, there was a patient to check on him. At the same time, Jerd came to give Sai a drink. Jerd then gave information that there would be a big hunt tonight. So Sai was required to close the doors and windows of her room tightly. The girl, who was lying down, accidentally drank water from Sai. That was what made the girl turn into Krasu. Tad quickly came to kill that girl. Sai also realized that the reason the girl turned into Krasu was because she had drunk the glass. Sai was very afraid that people would find out the truth. Luckily, Noi was always there to calm Sai down. Then, Sai invites Noi to go to the forest because there must be a clue about this Krasu. That night, they left the house. And unexpectedly, Tad followed them from behind. Just then, Jerd told the group to stop following them. But Jerd's words were denied by them. On the other hand, Sai and Noi managed to reach the old house which turned out to be behind the old house where there were lit plants. Noi then realized that this plant could temporarily stop Krasu's transformation. If Sai eats one, then she will not change for the whole day. So they decided to bring some plants for Sai's consumption. There, because Sai and Noi love each other, they end up kissing. On the other hand, Jerd saw them kissing. This made Jerd jealous and immediately hit Noi. Meanwhile Tad and his group chase Sai into the old house. Inside, Sai accidentally sees a red light appear from the chest. As she approached the coffin, she immediately remembered the victim she had killed and recalled her childhood when Krasu kissed her. It turned out that as a child Krasu had kissed Sai so that was what caused Sai to turn into Krasu. At the old house, Sai suddenly turned into Krasu and immediately attacked all the hunter groups. Now only Tad was alive. After defeating Noi, Jerd immediately stopped Tad from shooting Krasu. But Tad didn't hesitate to kick him out of the old house. Noi accidentally saw that there were some creatures that suddenly passed above him. Knowing that, Noi immediately checked Sai's condition. Fortunately, Sai had returned to her body and soon Noi brought her home. The next day, the entire village was shocked by the death of a group of hunters. Sai's father then asked Tad who Krasu was and what it looked like. It turned out that Noi was secretly eavesdropping on their conversation. Knowing Sai was in danger, he finally rushed to see Sai. But on the way, Noi's chest hurts because yesterday he kissed Sai. On the other hand, the villagers then rushed to Sai's house to prove that Sai is Krasu. Sai was confused because the plant she was keeping had disappeared. She tried hard to find the plant to eat before she turned into Krasu. Sai's father gave warning shots to the residents so they could calm down. However, Sai was surprised and accidentally dropped her plant. Her father then called her many times, but Sai was still trying to find the plant in the mud. Until finally, she managed to eat the plant and immediately came out. Tad told Jerd to speak about the facts. But because Jerd still loved her, he ended up not opening his mouth. Cleverly, Sai said that their group kidnapped her and would rape her. But luckily Jerd came to save Sai. She did this lie to get her father and the villagers to believe her. After that, Jerd wanted to sleep in his room. But Tad was very disappointed that Jerd betrayed him. Shortly after that, Tad attacked him which made Jerd turn to something. Some time later, Sai's plants began to run out. Which makes Noi try hard to find plants again. But apparently, Noi saw the plant was engulfed in flames. The one who burned the crops was none other than Tad himself. Shortly after, Noi asked Sai to come to Bangkok in the hope that someone could help them there. But Sai here looks confused whether to follow him or not. On the other hand, Jerd heard a whisper from Tad to kill Sai immediately. When Sai visits him, he said that the first person who saw Sai turning into Krasu was himself. At that time Jerd wanted to take her home, but Sai was in a hurry and started acting strange. It made Jerd follow her from behind. And apparently, he saw clearly that Sai had turned into Krasu. 
Jerd was starting to get scared and couldn't believe that Krasu was the one he loved. His goal of joining Krasu's hunting group was to keep Sai at a distance. At night, Noi waited for Sai to go to Bangkok. But Sai was invited by her father to watch the screen stomp. Over time, Sai's chest became sore, and so did Noi. Elsewhere, Jerd had turned into a gigantic monster about to kill Sai. Fortunately, Noi arrived on time and managed to resuscitate Jerd who had been instigated by Tad. Jerd immediately decides to have a one-on-one -on -one fight with Tad and ends up dying because his heart has been taken by Tad. On the other hand, Noi brought Sai's body to a safe place. But Tad wouldn't let them go. Suddenly, the monk comes and shoots Tad dead. The monk then informed him that he had a wife who also became Krasu. To hide it, he locked his wife in a chest using chains. From the story of the monk, it can be concluded that the one who kissed Sai to become Krasu was the monk's wife. Then, the monk told them to leave this place as soon as possible. At the end of the movie, Noi and Sai arrived at the boat. Noi promises to cure her when they reach Bangkok. Not long after, Sai was shot dead. Noi cries hysterically as he remembers his time with Sai. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you, next time.